Well, if you live in modern America, you know the rules by now. We're all supposed to follow the law unless it's immigration law or any other policy the anointed leaders of the left happen to dislike. According to the Department of Homeland Security, from January 28th through February 3rd, 206 criminally charged illegal aliens were released nationwide by law enforcement despite hold requests placed on them by ICE. Of those 206 released aliens, 142 were released by a single sheriff. Her name is Sally Hernandez, and she's in Travis County, Texas, where Austin, the state capital, is. The released aliens face charges that include sexual assault, robbery, and domestic violence. It's a very frustrating situation for the governor of Texas, Greg Abbott. He's trying to ban sanctuary cities right now, and he joins us in the studio. Governor, it's great to see you. You too, Tucker. So, explain if I, I mean, am I explaining this right? That the, the sheriff, the elected sheriff, whose job it is to uphold the law, enforce the law, is in fact ignoring the law in Travis County, Texas. Is that, is that true? It's exactly right. It's posing great danger because she has knowingly released from jail in Travis County people who have been either convicted of or accused of serious felonies such as sexual assault, sexual assault of a minor. She's put right back out onto the streets. This is a dangerous practice that Texas is going to hammer down. We will not tolerate this. And so we have taken action. We're going to take even stiffer action to prohibit and ban sanctuary cities in Texas. This is Sheriff Sally Hernandez, known as Sanctuary Sally. Sanctuary Sally. What's the motivation here? Why would a sheriff want to release dangerous people back to the community? Tucker, this is a part of what you've seen sweep across the United States of America. There, there is a liberal agenda uh, that wants to so-called be welcoming uh, to those who are here illegally. And one way they do that is by not enforcing the law. They, she campaigned on and got elected as sheriff in Travis County this last year on the promise she would not enforce sanctuary city laws or she would not enforce ICE detainers. And so she campaigned on the promise of not enforcing the law. That's not the way things are done in the state of Texas. No. And we are going to require that she, as well as all counties, all cities in the state of Texas, must follow the law. If you want to be in law enforcement, you have to enforce the law. Why do they never do this with like tax evasion or seatbelt laws or something I might benefit from? Because it doesn't fit within the paradigm of the liberal ideology. So what can you do about this? Well, one thing that I have already done unilaterally as governor of the state of Texas is I defunded Travis County from governor grants that were going to them to the tune of $1.5 million I took out of their pocket. Second is we're working on a piece of legislation uh, that will impose criminal penalties where the sheriff herself can wind up behind bars and hence be removed from office, fines that could add up to millions of dollars per year, as well as other penalties. We're going to make it so costly, so expensive, there's no way that any city or county can uh, take on sanctuary city policies. But there also are torts involved here. So if I give you my gun and to say, hey, here's a gun, and you go rob a liquor store and shoot someone with it, I can be sued, and certainly civil court, for that. Why wouldn't she be personally liable for the crimes committed by the criminals she released? That is one of the proposals that has been discussed. It could wind up in this final piece of legislation where either the, the sheriff or the public official personally could be subject to liability or the governmental body, whether it be the city or county, could be subject to liability uh, for paying for uh, those who are injured. Take the, the famous case of Kate Steinle. Why shouldn't Kate Steinle's family be able to sue San Francisco or the county that San Francisco was in because of the loss of their child? I believe that claim should be viable against any official or any uh, governmental body that allows sanctuary city. Have policies. you told the trial lawyers this? I mean, they're I mean, they're pursuing everybody because they profit from them. Why wouldn't they be in favor of this? Be because of their liberal agenda. Ironically, the trial lawyers did not pick this up and view it as a new avenue to make money, uh, and so they have not blessed it. They're not supporting it. Wow. Ironically, which shows is nothing more <laughs> than, a, than a liberal agenda idea. Boy, nothing is more important than illegal immigration to these people. Governor, thanks a lot for joining us. Good Kurt luck Tucker. with that. Thank you.